This video is going to be a scratch on the surface, but the topic which I'm about to take today probably is going to become a series of videos. And the topic is how to become a biotech software engineer in 2024 and beyond. So if you want to know more on this topic and you want me to make more videos on this in this series, then comment below that you, yes, you want it. Now let's start with the video. Now, first things first, one student messaged me last night saying that, sir, I don't want to leave the biotech field, but I know there's a lot of money in the software field. So why can't we merge the biotech with software and develop biotech softwares for the biotech companies? And I was like, good question. There are already companies which are doing that. So the question now should be, how can you as a biotech a professional or a biotech engineer become a biotech software engineer and earn a lot of money. Well, truth be told, the software field or the software industry is getting saturated, but the IT side of it, not the BT side of it. Now, just to give you an example, there is something called as LIMS, Laboratory Information Management System. There's something called as Clinical Data Management. There's something called as Boarding. And there's something called as bioinformatics and drug discovery. Now, all these are related to software. What if you could develop biotech softwares for these companies? Just to give you an example, Scrodinger is a biotech uh, software based company and that develops bioinformatics software. And one subscription of that software, it is so costly that only probably government institutes and big companies can take it. And that's probably, I think, 10 or 14 lakhs. Uh, per annum. You can imagine these software companies in biotech are earning millions of dollars just through subscription. So you can also develop biotech softwares. And one of the best ways to do that will be learning Python, uh, learning our language and then getting yourself acquainted with bioinformatics. Now bioinformatics has two sides. Okay, the first side is where you use the software to analyze biotech data, right? experimental data but the second side is where you come into picture where you can develop softwares for the biotech industry which can be used to analyze this experimental data and that is where Scrodinger and various other companies are working so now the question is how do you become that the first step will be learning bioinformatics and coding python and r and we are starting a fresh batch for bioinformatics and computational biology and big data biology from 12th of September, all the details are given in the description and we will also be training you on Python and our language in our coding for biologists initiative, which will start from 26th of September. So what are you waiting for? Both the links are given in the description. Check it out and that will be your first step to become a biotech software engineer. But hold on, subscribe to Biotechnica because we are going to create a series of videos where I'll be talking on various types of softwares you can create for the biotech industry or maybe you could join a biotech company and do those softwares create those softwares and earn a lot of money i think this is one field which is still not tapped and you all can go in and become a biotech software engineer let me know in the comment section how this uh, field excites you or not and i will see you soon with more videos on this topic thank you take care keep shining bye bye